Hi, so um, today I decided to do a video where I talk to you about my favorite books for 2021. Um, I'm not going to go through my thoughts on the books uh, too much or um, on what the book is about because you can actually go and read those reviews in my blog, which I will put the links to each review in my description block below so you don't have to go searching for each book review so I'll just put those book reviews in the description block below um, but if you want to see any other of the reviews you can also look at the rest of the blog it's under the heading book reviews and then you can just go and find all of them there um, I only got to read 19 books for 2021 um, so I don't have much to choose from it's not a lot of books um, and a lot of them I was doing blog tours um, for people and yeah they, they're not always the books that you would choose for yourself but you know some of them are good like there's one on the list here that is from a blog tour that I did I also also I don't have the actual books for most of these because um, I have them on Kindle I've only got one of the books that are actual the actual book and I do actually love reading the actual book the only problem is when you do reviews for people um, and they are overseas um, authors they don't like sending you the actual book unless you live in America so it's just one of those things <laughs> I love being creative and trying new things in my journey through life writing best practices tips and tricks sharing updates on my own writing and books with different tutorials sprinkled in between. I enjoy sharing my knowledge. There's music covers and original pieces written and composed by me. Handmade jewelry reveals, sewing videos, other crafts, poetry reading, book reviews and many, many more. Come and join me on this journey and let's have fun together. Okay, so the first book, although it's actual books, um, so it's a series, uh, is the Chronicles of Kerrigan series. It's by WH by WJ May. Um, I read book one to six. There are more. I haven't read the rest yet uh, because I have so many books that I need to read. Um, but I really enjoyed that series. It was, <laughs> what can I say, they've got like powers that they get from a tattoo um, when they're 16, if I can remember correctly, I was 16, and they get these powers and they get to, um, they all get different powers. So they see, they wait and see what it is. Now, hers is all controversial, like the main character, Kerrigan, um, because they are, she, her parents were both power people, people with powers, and apparently you're not supposed to be with someone that's got powers, because then your power could be unstable and like scary. And she actually came out with this beautiful tattoo, which was like very different to anyone else's, and people freaked out a little bit at first. But she's actually quite a cool person. Um, I would like to read the rest of the series. Um, I will get there <laughs> because I really enjoyed it. It was actually one of my favorites for 2021. And yeah, I had a few few things that I had a problem with, but in in all in all, I actually enjoyed the, the book. So um, I will put them here um, and like because there's six so i'll put the three up yeah and then again i'll put the next three up so you can see the covers and um yeah then you can just go and look you can google for the rest of them um i haven't read those yet but i'm sure they're just as good <laughs> then number two is trust in me by leah cole c-o-l-l -L. Um, yeah, as the cover for that one. Um, that book was actually quite brilliant. The main character is a dating disaster and she needs to, um, if I remember correctly, her name is Safi. 
um, but I'm not positive, so don't quote me on that. She's asked by this guy to go as her date to something, and they start getting that like, like, like they fake dating, and just the whole setup. It just it was a brilliant book. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you like romances, you will definitely enjoy this book. It was very good. Uh, number three is Something Borrowed by Lu Louisa George. Alright, so Something Borrowed was also very brilliant. Um, this girl, Chloe Cassidy, she is um, a jilted bride. So her, her um, fiancé left her at the altar. Um, the best man had to be the the bearer of the bad news and she kind of held it against she she went off at him and she held it against him now he is a um he he likes he's a cook like a chef and he's got his own um restaurants and stuff and she is a wedding planner unfortunately <laughs> which obviously after this whole session she is she's struggling to get her business to go because people talk you know and they're like, well, you know, if you're, you like bad luck, you know. And somehow they have to help each other because he needs help with his restaurant that is open up close to her. And she needs help with her um, wedding planning company. And they need to help. They help each other. But really, like half-heartedly because they both still trying to stay away from each other he thinks she's crazy and she thinks he's like not the nicest person um but they actually fall in love obviously sorry you know to um to let you know that but it's a romance so obviously they fall in love um but just how they get there is actually quite brilliant so you will enjoy this movie um movie <laughs> you will enjoy this book if you um if you are a romance person then number four oh by the way I'm, I'm not putting this in order of how much i liked it this is just i'm just counting them down um it's not like in any major order of what i liked so number four is um the alpha prince and his bride by Lord g so it's l-a-u-r and then a capital g um so the covers yeah now this book, I had a love-hate relationship with this book because it was it's on a platform. Um, if I can remember what is the name of that, because I, now I stay far away from this platform because I hated reading the book on that platform. Really, I won't read any other book on that platform ever, ever again. Um, which is such a pity because. Um, It was such a good book. Uh, sorry, I'm just checking what the platform name is. So the platform's name is Dream, D-R-E-A-M-E dot -E com. And you have to pay coins for every chapter and that you want to read. You get free coins from them for logging on for the day. I don't know if they still do it that way. But... Um, it's painful. I mean, I would rather just buy the book up front on Amazon or something and then read it through. But trying to buy coins, buy coins, because you don't know how much coins you want. And I did not want to ever read a book on there again. So I don't want like extra coins. So I ended up just waiting for the free coins that I get. And um, that drove me insane. Like I really, really was wanted to give up reading that book. But the, the book itself was brilliant so that's the saving grace of why I kept on reading it but I think this author should really really think about moving her stuff away from there and putting it onto um, like something somewhere else <laughs> like Amazon or something where a person can actually just buy the book and you know get it over and done with it um, it was a brilliant book it's Obviously, if it's the, the alpha print, so it's wolves, you know, and um, werewolves. And 
the storyline was just wonderful. Um, there was a lot of sex in it. Um, yeah, so if you don't like that, then don't go for it. But um, even with a lot of sex, which usually um, I don't always like to read, uh, especially if they get vulgar, um, it wasn't like I never when I was reading it I wasn't feeling like that little vulgar feeling that I feel sometimes when I read the really smutty stuff and please don't come at me all the people that like reading smutty I'm not judging you can enjoy your smutty <laughs> as much as you want I just don't always enjoy it and I don't like it when people use God's name in vain in books either um, I just really don't like it um, but not judging if you enjoy it so if you enjoy it more power to you <laughs> But for me, I'd like to warn, I like to warn my readers if there's those things in, um, because they don't always warn you up front, for, you know, because it's things that people just seem to take advantage of, like, it's just like every day now. Um, but yeah, so there is a lot of sex scenes, they're not like vulgar, and um, she doesn't, the, um, this person doesn't use like, I think it's a female, Lorgy, I think it's a female, um, they don't use like ugly language because there's there's certain ways that people mention certain parts of your anatomy that are not nice words and um she doesn't do that she, or he um they they make it they they put it very presentably <laughs> if i can say that that way so the storyline was brilliant i really enjoyed it i would love to read other books by this author but i will never read it on that on that dream again not ever not ever so i really really hope that she starts moving her books to um, amazon or something because i will probably buy all of them it was that good i really enjoyed the storyline it was very different from other storylines then number five is this one it's the only book i have actually um, got that's you know the actual book and it is this one in Search of Wisdom by Joyce Meyer. Uh, this is a like a Bible study book of Philipp not Philippians, Proverbs. Um, sorry, I also read the Philippians one. So this is the Bible study book of Proverbs. And she it's obviously not everything Proverbs because then this book would be like that thick. But um, she gives like all her little pieces that she thought was that she thought was important in it and then tries to explain it to you from her point of view and anyone that knows me knows that I love Joyce Meyer she has helped me so much with my walk with God explain things to me because you know sometimes your mind is a little bit closed off um, and you don't always catch things and she just really explained like i can feel in my spirit when when um i agree with something um and she's one of the the, the um, authors and pastors that i completely agree with um and that i always feel that she is right uh, there are other pastors I'm not going to mention names that are also very popular out there i don't always agree with what they say so she's the one pastor that i always I always agree with and she's just always got such good things to say you know like the other day she was talking about um, the fact that you mustn't go and ask people for um, assistance with something you know like um, so now you need to know something um, about so now you're dating I'll use that I'll use that example you're dating and you've got different options but now you don't know which person to go for. This person's got this personality and he's doing this to you. And this person's got this personality and he's like this and whatever. Now, instead of running around asking people, friends or, sorry, my hair's falling out. Asking friends or people like that for advice, you should be asking God. Because he knows that person deep. He knows who you belong with. And so her saying that she says, and I'm going to be putting it on a wallpaper, is instead of running to the phone, you should run to the throne. And I just think that's brilliant. So yeah, that is In Search of Wisdom. Um, it explains Proverbs to you a little bit, helps you to understand it, which obviously is great. Um, yeah. Then number six, which is the final one on my list, is... A Heartfelt Christmas Promise by Nancy Nagel. 
Now this was one of the blog tour ones that I did. Um, I really enjoyed this video. Um, what's with this video? <laughs> Good videos on my brain. Um, I really enjoyed this book. So the book is about this woman. Her name is Vanessa, and she is a. Um, she works for a company that she has to sometimes close other like other companies, and get the people reallocated. And she gets sent to, she's supposed to go like to Paris or something. So she gets sent to this little town in, um, called Fraser Hills, which is apparently in North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina. And they sell the best fruitcake in the USA. And she hates fruitcake. But apparently this fruitcake she absolutely loves. And it's because it's so different. And she is um it's all about how she falls in love with not only this one guy that's there but also the one young girl that's working there she loves her she just adores her actually because she is so much like her and then also um she falls in love with the town and the people in the town and how this story goes where she's now supposed to close this company and reallocate people and how she actually saves this company and the people and that and how they come up against her because you know she's the big bad suit that's coming to close the, the, the business and everything and um, how people like approach her and how this guy approaches her and his daughter which is the one that she adores so it's it was a really beautiful story and I was I really enjoyed it so it's um it is a romance um, and I would say I would say there's a little bit of chiclet in there as well you know like where she has to learn who she is what she enjoys um, and then also her cousin is pretty awesome as well so that is the the six books that I've got like I say um, I haven't gone into detail but you can go into the description block and go and read the the, the, um, the reviews that I did on each one and what they're about I'm sure you will enjoy them um, as much as I did. As always, if you want to support an author, um, Goodreads, Amazon, Google Books, anywhere where you can um, go and uh, like rate the book um, and, and review it, is always helpful for an author. Um, even if you didn't like the book and there were certain points, you know, obviously do constructive criticism, don't be nasty for no reason, but um, Authors appreciate that, the ones that read their reviews, because it helps them to improve on things. And if it's an indie author, they would be able to change the book. They would be able to fix what the problem is and then put it out again because, you know, indie authors, we, we publish ourselves. So, you know, reviews are paramount when it comes to authors because it also helps you to be lifted up in all the um, like best-selling lists and all of that. So... As an author, which my books, only my poetry book is out, but my other books are not out yet. But I can tell you that that's one of the things that I will be begging you for <laughs> when my books are out. So I can just tell you, for other authors, go and do that. You know, if you read a book, go and review it. You don't have to do a long review because you're not a book. If you're not a book reviewer, you don't have to do a long review. You can just say, "I really enjoyed this book," you know, or mm, you know, wasn't so crazy about it, or whatever. So, yeah, that's just my little tea that I wanted to put out there. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, if you can please give it a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, if you can please do so and click the subscription block below. It shows support for my channel, which I really do appreciate. It helps with all the youtube -y things. And then also, I would like to reach a thousand followers this year, or subscribers. So you would really be helping me with that goal. And then also, um, if you look in the description block below, you will find all the links for these reviews from my blog and then also just my blog in general. Um, and also all of my social media is there as well. And if you go to www.patreon.com forward slash on Dean Lorenz, you'll find more content from me. And it's also the best place for you to support what I do on this channel and what I do on my blog because currently I don't get paid for either. Um, I don't have any affiliates or anything like that. So um, that would be where you would be supporting me. 
um, if you would like to contact me and support me in another way because and you don't want to become a patron um, then just email me and let me know and I will get back to you so I hope that you have a lovely day further keep your crystal on your sparkle strong and enjoy your moments goodbye